In this video, I will show you how to set up beautiful data capture forms to populate your documents. You can share forms with your customers or use them internally. Data capture forms are generated automatically based on the placeholder tokens from the document template. You don't need build forms from scratch manually. If you expect that some tokens have a type different from a string, you can change their type in the tokens dialog. Let's change the type for the date token from string to date. And let us say for the zip token from string to number. Auto-generated web forms come in handy when you'd like to test the template and see how the resulting document will look like. Let's check our form. We have a date picker for a date and we can't type letters into the zip field. You can share such a form with your customers or use it internally to launch the document generation process and merge responses into documents. Auto-generated forms are helpful, but you can do more and customize them to add validations, wizards, tabs, and more with the help of PlumSale Forms. Click on the Customize image. It will create a copy of the auto-generated default form and redirect you to the forms designer. Before that, you'll see a notification that you start using PlumSale Forms under a free plan. The PlumSale Forms designer has a drag and drop interface, easy to use. Here, you can add various fields and controls, change their settings, such as order and size, add hints, and more. You can even design the theme for your form. When we submit the form, it sends JSON data to the template to create a document. Each form's field should have a name matching the template's token. For nested tokens, we have a data table control. The name of the table is what we have before the dot, and the names of the columns are what we have after it. The default form stays always bound to the process. You can unbind the customized form, bind it back, or create a new one using the Plum Sale Forms Designer. Share the form's link with your customers or your team, or embed the form's widget to your site. Whenever the form is submitted, it will create a document and trigger its delivery to your recipients, storage to your systems, or collecting e-signatures. You will find more information in Help Docs. If any questions, feel free to ask the community or our support.